it. Welcome to JB's Garage. This vlog is going to be a combination of cocktail mixing, welding projects, miscellaneous travel, and whatever else adventure I find myself on. So stay tuned for all the fun. On tonight's episode of JB's Garage, we're going to be making three cocktails. A double shot of Johnny Walker Black Label, Jane Walker Edition, the Last Word Gin Cocktail, and my favorite, the Manhattan. Let's see how this goes. A fresh bottle of Jane Walker Black Label. Cheers. My brother orders me this kit for my birthday, right? Comes from Amazon. Full of all kinds of tools. But the best part about it is it rolls up. I can literally go anywhere with you. It's amazing. Check it out. So it's got a pocket for every tool. Half the tools are out of it right now because I just used them, but you got tongs to grab fruit. You got a muddler, an ice pick, a wine bottle opener, a beer opener, a peeler, larger tongs for ice, spoon strainer, came with a Boston shaker, which is the only style shaker anyone should ever use. A few different types of strainers, jigger, and the ever needed bar spoon. All right, let's make a Manhattan. We've got our bullet bourbon. I also like to use bullet rye occasionally. It's got a good, good, good finish to it. Mmm, it's the good stuff. I don't have to excuse my pores because they are the cheap brand and constantly leak and get stuck. A little sweet vermouth. I like my Manhattans a little on the sweet side, depending on where I'm at. If I'm in a bar, somewhere that knows how to make one, don't worry about the simple syrup. But here at home, I like to add a splash. Nothing fancy, just a quick drop. This is my favorite cocktail. Put them in every cocktail, even if it doesn't call for them. Cheers. JB's Garage is going to make one of my favorite gin cocktails. It's called The Last Word. So, you need a good coupe. A coupe glass makes the drink that much better. It gets that little fanciness going on even at home. So, first ingredients you need is a really good gin. So, I like Jay Rieger and Company. Now, trust me, no one is sponsoring any of this. But uh, my brother brings this back from Kansas City for me every time he goes. And I would move to Kansas City for this stuff. So, shout out to Jay Rieger and Company. All right, the next ingredient is green chartreuse. I gotta say, a friend of mine, his name is Brian, he turned me on to green chartreuse. He told me it was fantastic in cocktails, and my man did not lie. The third liquor that's going into this is maraschino liqueur. Uh, obviously, all of us ate maraschino cherries growing up. Those of us that grew up in a bar remember stealing maraschino cherries by the glass from the bartender. All right, now I'm gonna cheat because you should use fresh lime juice, but uh, a little lacking in that department today. I'm gonna splash of fake lime juice. Well, it, don't, it might be real, but it's from concentrate. Now the mesh strainer is gonna grab any of that bruising that may happen when you stir something, but it usually doesn't. It usually only happens when you shake stuff. There you have it. The last word. Cheers. I gotta tell you, 
This is gonna be a lot of fun. Myself a bar all set up in JB's garage. So, come thirsty, stay as long as you want, but I'm out. Much easier when I didn't think anybody was gonna be here. What'd you, no, you're fine, it's fun.